how do I improve my metabolism? I get that question at least one time every single day. It's very popular that people want to know how they can get their metabolic rate higher. Now, I'm going to show you a case study about someone whose metabolic rate was too low and how she improved that. But what I want to touch on real quick is if your metabolic rate is already normal, let's say you've happened to get it tested and it was right where it was supposed to be or maybe even a little bit higher than that, you don't have to work on getting your metabolism even higher. All of the case studies that I share with you are individuals who are under fueling their body and as a result their metabolism adapted and then became abnormally too low and yes we want to correct that. But I just want to clarify that because I know there's lots of stuff out there promoting metabolism boosters and foods that boost metabolism. All of that's a scam. We really just want to make sure that we're fueling your body enough so that your metabolism is where it should be. So let's go into the case. Now, first and foremost, this is an individual who's five foot six and 145 pounds. And so what she was doing is she had noticed that over the past few years, she had gained from about 135 pounds to 145 pounds. And she was really concerned and thought that there was something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? This person was just getting a little bit older. Her lifestyle had changed a little bit. It was just sort of normal change in the body. But she was like, oh my gosh, I must be doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not exercising enough, whatever. So prior to coming in to see us, what she had been doing is exercising five days a week for an hour, doing mostly cardio, it was either spin or running, right? And because of this recent weight gain over the past few years, she felt like, oh, I must decrease my calories. So she's logging her calories and only eating 1100 calories per day. And I will say she recognized that she had low energy. She recognized that she was hungry. She had cravings, but this is just what she thought she had to do in order to get back to that 130 35 that she thought she had to be, right? So she's under fueling her body, only eating 1100 calories a day and exercising five days a week. So she's not giving her body enough fuel. So let's take a look at her resting metabolic rate when she first came in. So here are her results. And as you can see, so remember the green bar, that 1390, is how many calories her body should be burning at rest. And that's based on age and height of similar people where we predict her resting metabolic rate to be. But her metabolism had adapted and come down really, really low to that 947. The reason that happened is because this person is under eating and over exercising. And basically, your body has to get calories from somewhere, right? It needs to keep you alive. And so what it does is adapt. It brings down that metabolic rate so that it doesn't burn more than you're giving it. So as a result, her metabolism is really low at 947. What we also see here is that her protein metabolism or breakdown of muscle mass is 12.6% above where it should be. I just want to clarify that green bar, you see that there's some room there, right? That's because it is normal for your body to break down just a little bit of muscle and collagen and things like that to maintain a negative nitrogen balance in the body. But this was 12.6% above that. So if anything, her exercise that she was doing was counterproductive. She's probably breaking down even more muscle during these workouts as opposed to building it. So then of course people go, well, what do we do? How do I get my metabolism higher? And the answer is to eat more calories, right? So we refer to your metabolism like logs on a fire, right? When you're not taking in enough or when those logs on a fire start to dwindle, the flame comes down, your metabolism comes down and vice versa. When you're eating enough or putting plenty of logs on a fire, you're gonna have a nice high flame. So we had to get her to take in more food, right? So over a time period of about nine months, we got her up to 2,600 calories a day. Now, let me clarify that. We didn't take nine months to get her to 2,600 calories a day. We actually sort of bumped up pretty quickly. We went right from 1,100 to 1,800 and then to 2,600 within about a month. What I meant is over that nine period, nine month time period, we took her to 2,600 calories and had her stay there before we redid her metabolic test. So at this point, right, we got her up to 2,600 calories. She's feeling great. She has such better energy. She's not having any cravings and she actually feels like she can perform better during her workouts. She kept her workouts about the same, but she did add a little bit of strength. 
She was still going five days a week for about an hour, but one or two of those days she was due to do some strength workouts, but she was someone who really preferred cardio, so she stuck with that. So 2,600 calories a day, exercising five days a week, a bit more strength, but pretty high in cardio as well. Let's see how her metabolism changed. So take a look at what we see here, right? So now her resting metabolic rate is 1537. It came up above where we predicted to be, which is awesome. And that protein metabolism is still 1% above normal. So yeah, we still have a little bit of work to do, but things are exponentially better here. Her metabolism is healed. It's back to where it should be, meaning her body is not compensating for being under fueled. And the protein metabolism is almost back to where we would want it to be. Remember now she's eating 2,600 calories a day. She's feeling exponentially better. And this is how you improve that metabolic rate. You fuel the body more and stop starving it and over-exercising. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.